Norman Designs here and I'm going to be showing you how to make how to make a coloured cloud effect on Photoshop CS5 and also how to put an object into writing. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this and the cloud effect behind it and also the object in the writing. Simple. Okay, so we're gonna First of all, we're going to start off with a blank page. So open up Photoshop. Click on to new. And I'm going to make mine 1600 by 900. Just because that's my desktop size. So if I was going to make it a background then. Yeah. So I'm going to go into this JFX pack that I downloads of the internet from Mitch Designs. I'm going to use um let's have a look which one I should use. I think I just might use this one. No. Ooh, it's a tough decision. Decision. I think I might use this hazard one. Because it suits the um, the theme, so I'm just going to copy all that, and paste it into this one, and I'm just going to drag it out so it fits the my desktop size. So that's my background. I'm just going to name that background. I'm going to lock that layer because I don't need it. So I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to get the brush, and I'm just I've made it the size of my um, desktop, like to fit the thing, the canvas if you want to call it that. So if you copy and send me, just put it as ten zero nine. Just click into the middle like that. Now you're going to want to double click onto that layer. And go on gradient overlay. And I'm going to, want to click onto that and make this colour down here a yellow, kind of orange actually. And then the top one, a bright yellow. And I'm going to put one in the middle as well. Just going to make that a bit of a dark yellow just so it looks like it's going into it. Press OK, press OK. Um I'm gonna call this layer colour because that's what it is. And I'm gonna make another new layer and call this one cloud. Call this one cloud. So I'm gonna go up to filter, render and uh, clouds. And there you go, this is it. It's finished. I'm sure I'm joking. Um, on cloud where it says normal here, just go on to and click over there, and it makes it misty and mysterious. Um, we're just going to copy both of these, so by clicking down control, well, yeah, control, uh, or command on max, and click on both of them, we're going to right click and do, oh no, not delete, duplicate list. Uh, yeah. Now we've got them two, we're going to we've got the copy, so we're going to keep them highlighted and go up to edit, transform, scale. Just going to make that just a bit more, a bit everywhere so it looks like it's floating for something. And just to Bring down the opacity to about 81. I'd say that looks that looks pretty good. Now for some text. The font I'm going to use is Poplar SDD. Um, put the cap locks on, and I'm just going to write Jack Jen Jack Norman Designs PhD. Simple, isn't it? 
Um, I'm just going to press Control T or Command T and just drag that. Remember to hold Shift so it doesn't go out of place. And highlight all of them. So both of your cloud copy and your writing and just center it a bit. That's gone a bit wrong. Don't center it. Forget that I've just said that. Just leave it. Just go off your head that looks alright. Yeah, it looks alright. So we're gonna go back to Mitch Designs and I'm just going to go on to I'll open this one in Photoshop as well. So here it is. Just gonna drag to that, copy it, put it into here. Control or Command T, Shift, make it a bit smaller, and then don't put Shift on. Just make it the size of the writing. So that's automatically just made a new layer for us. So go on to right click onto that and create clipping mask and just like that it is in the writing so that's how we create a clipping mask and also I should make a pretty cool hazard background with a bit of smoke so that's it really don't forget to comment like and rate um,